Alright, I'm going to start on the eccentric strap now. Um, so I got a piece of brass. I'm going to cut this piece out. Uh, then after we get that done, probably work on this little eye here. And this is just a piece of 332nd brass stock. So, uh, alright. Already got some of the work laid out. And uh, I'm going to drill that and uh, I think it calls to ream that, so we'll throw a, a 3 8 uh, ream through that just for good measure. So let's get started. Yeah, I didn't realize how much uh, flex there was uh, on the end of the part uh, until I started going over the video. So um, the part turned out okay. I don't, I don't see an issue with it. Um, but I'll have to be a little more careful in the future. So, um, Yeah, this technique seems to work real well when you want to um, trim a radius off. Um, the only thing is uh, sometimes the milling bit, or the end mill wants to pull the part up off the uh, pivot. Um, so I'm thinking next time what I'll do is I'll cross drill the pivot pin and put, put a little hairpin clip or, or even a piece of wire stock just to keep it from being pulled up. Um, but um, other than that, it, it seems to work real well. straight. I'm going to flip this on its edge and uh, drill and tap that for uh, a lovely uh, 348 thread. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. a bottoming tap in there and uh, this was just about done here then let's get that tap center in there Okay, so this part is uh, done now. So I just got to make the rod and the other end um, for that. So, uh, alright. See you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching.